El, brilliant personal performance on your part last week. I know not maybe the result that we would have wanted, but a penalty save and a clean sheet, not bad going for yourself. Yeah, I think you've got to take the positives. Um, we weren't at it in the first half, I don't think. Um, surely done well, I thought, thought they'd done well in the first half and uh, they grew into the game. But I think, I think like I said, when we went down to 10 men, which you know, you know, I think people can see it wasn't a penalty, but um, yeah, I just we've done our research and thankfully, thankfully we got a point and a clean sheet and you've got to look at the positives. Definitely, and inclusion in the National League Team of the Week for you, it's always good to get that personal recognition as much as it is overall about the team. Of course, yeah, the personal thing is great, but um, yeah, I'd rather, rather us win, and I'm not in that, for example. But yeah, look, that's, that's something a positive, and uh, yeah, I appreciate the recognition. And Barnet are going to be a tough test this weekend. Uh, level on points with us now after winning 4 0 midweek against Fylde. Um, how difficult is that game now that maybe we've got the added couple of days rest, but they come into the game on really good momentum with four goals scored in midweek? How, how do you see that? Yeah, I think it's, a, it's, it's going to be hard anyway, but obviously when they win 4-0, it's, people think oh, it's even harder, but it's, it's no harder just because they've won 4-0. You know, it's still going to be a hard game and uh, we know a lot about Barnet, um, as I'm sure they know about us, but uh, we are on the day, if we're right, we back ourselves to get the result. And a, a local rivalry, uh, maybe a playoff rivalry, do you, do you see it maybe being a game that's got a bit, a bit of heat to it? Yeah, obviously it means a lot to the fans, I mean, I, could, I think you could see that last year and there was, there was a bit of hostility there, but. No, these are games you want to play and hopefully there's a, a big crowd and we can uh, send them home happy. So. And into October now with a chunk of the season already having flown past it, doesn't seem like it's been long but a lot of games under our belts now. How would you assess the overall position of the club at, at this point and also your, your personal performances at this stage? Yeah, I think we started poorly. I think we started poorly but um, 10 unbeaten speaks for itself. You know, we're, we're getting better and better and we're tightened up at the back which is good. Um, so I think that started at the Chesterfield game, we haven't given away much since. Strong, strongest defence in the league in September. Yeah, yeah, and I think you can see that. We're not, we're not giving away as many chances, which is always nice. Um, on a personal point of view, it's, for again, I started slow, admittedly, um, to the level I was last year, but I think I'm growing into it more and more, and uh, no reason why I can't keep getting better and better. So. And we've got Peter, Peter Freud and Craig Younger here this weekend, um, fans forum this evening, here for the game on Saturday. Um, you're hoping for maybe a top crowd, as, as there always is when they come over to get behind the guys on Saturday. Yeah, I think the fans respect what they've done for the club. You know, we, everyone knows where he was, and they've come in and well, they've saved the club really. So you know, it's it's the respect they deserve, and you know, I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere, and always is when they're here because you know people are excited to see them, and you know they've, they've done wonders here, and we want to repay that Saturday and get them a result.